YouTube, and welcome to Matt's House of Horror. I felt, because today is Tuesday, and I'm going to upload this this coming Friday, because I like to record my videos before I upload them. Like, like one, like maybe one or a couple days be earlier, because I like to upload, I like to make them earlier. And I, I'm scheduled to, to upload videos every Friday and Saturday. Or maybe just Friday. Depends how I feel like it. But anyway. Um, so, like I said. Today is Tuesday. Um, I felt like talk about YouTube drama. Because I'm like a newcomer of YouTube. So, anyway. Enough about that. Let's talk about YouTube drama. So I watched PewDiePie and Markiplier's videos about about this topic, and recently Matt Santoro uploaded a vlog about this topic. And um, um, okay. So from what I from what I got from PewDiePie's video is that there are literally YouTube channels dedicated to drama. He showed two examples, and he said, like, just like he said, you can kind of tell they're faking it. There's no real emotion in those videos. Like, they pretend like they're crying or they're really sad, but no, there's no real emotion in those videos. It's all fake. If you are a, if you are a true, like a, if you are a filmmaker at heart or even an actor at heart, you would know if it's being faked or if it's actual real emotion. So, yeah, they, and these videos, the one, I mean, the ones he is talking about, we're trying to make him look like. Oh, PewDiePie's a corrupted criminal. He should be stopped. And, I mean, and they're trying to feed off of, like, making more drama for YouTube. Like, make, they want, they're dedicated to make more drama for YouTube. I mean, Matt Santoro said this, and I feel this kind of the same way. When I first saw YouTube, I saw there was prank videos, there was dog videos, cat videos, baby videos, just funny videos. It was just funny videos, and then came the gaming videos, and then it became this big, big, like, organization-like thing. There's, like, there are different communities on YouTube. It's just this big thing. And... Like I said, it's grown since, ever since I first watched YouTube. Even though I first started watching YouTube possibly in tw 2009. And, but I started out like with the little cat videos, little funny cat videos and little funny things. And then I got into the gaming videos. And look at, now, look at me now. I'm now starting a YouTube channel for... Like, I'm starting without... I'm starting out by doing vlogs, because that's the only thing I can do right now. And then I want to try to make it up to gaming videos, because... Well, I don't even know why I want to do them. Because, um... I don't know. I always wanted to try out making a gaming video, but I don't have equipment, so... I'm starting out with vlogs. Right now, vlogs, and then I'm gonna tr once I get like softwares and stuff, I'm gonna try out one gaming video. If that maybe if if, my, if that works, if that works, then I might maybe do them more. But I know it's no easy task. Um, somebody said this. I don't remember which YouTuber, but someone said this. How 
a lot of people will say, oh, you're on YouTube, well, that should be easy, because all you have to do is make a video, isn't that? Yeah, it is easy at first, and then it gets harder. I mean, because you say, because you're scheduled and stuff. But enough about that. Um, so, yeah, like, so we were talking about YouTube drama. So I am not really surprised that they are targeting big famous YouTubers like PewDiePie because because these people decide, oh, I want to make drama because I want attention. It's probably the reason because usually, at least to me, the reason for you for any drama in, in certain like like anything being made up just for drama is that they really want attention they really want the atten attention of people they want anyone's attention and they'll feed off that um so i think i don't know no more I mean, I don't even know what to say about this. YouTube drama, I really think it's dumb. It is really a dumb thing to do. You're literally, one of the reasons why YouTube drama is dumb is because possibly no one wants to go on YouTube and then... And then right there, like, right as they're getting, like, maybe, let's say, a thousand subscribers or a million subscribers, all of a sudden, then, somebody's like, oh, that's them. That's the person we need. We can, if they're getting that many subscribers, we can make some drama off them. Nobody wants to, be like, no one wants to, like, think that they're going to be maybe made fun of or... Have like people go against them because of some y drama YouTube channel decides to, um, which call target them, decides to target them and just kind of I guess you can say harass them. There is an, in a way harassment I guess, and like just lie to everyone, make a lie about them, and like make them look like they're they're the bad guy. Nobody wants to do that. I know that there are a lot of people I know that want to become you that want to become YouTubers. And I know that these people don't like being don't like having drama made and then they become the center of it. They make these people make this drama make them the center of it. I know they don't like that. That's why why do we even have YouTube drama? Why do people think that, oh, I'm going to become popular now? Because they'll probably become on the t list of hated YouTubers, probably. And they'll probably become hated by the YouTube community itself. So, of course, it is usual to get the and the troll or the hate comment that's that's normal for youtubers they there are commenters everywhere that is normal for youtubers but the thing that is not norm that wasn't normal a long time ago and now is like growing larger to becoming like that is this youtube drama and these drama queens who decide that they want to try to become famous and try to have all these people go against all these YouTubers and make them look like they're monsters when they're probably when they're when really they're probably not. So yeah. I think so my opinion I'm sure there's a lot of YouTubers who agree with me. YouTube trauma Drama is the dumbest thing, is one of the dumbest things on YouTube right now. It's not the, but it's just one of them. It is one of the dumbest things on YouTube. And I, th my opinion is that they, 
I think these people should just stop. If they really want attention and views, they should focus more on good content than trying to make fun of other YouTubers, because that's just the dumbest reason for making YouTube videos I have ever heard. At least one of them. So, now that's over, over with, um, wow, usually I talk about things. Oh yeah, last weekend I went to see the Jungle Book, book sorry, let me say that again. Last weekend I went to see the Jungle Book, and I thought it was an awesome movie. The CGI was so great, and just the acting was just awesome. I love the movie, um, so... I give it a 5 out of 5. It's one of the best... It's one of the best family movies I have seen. Uh-huh. Because I don't like the Lego movie. And... There is another movie... There is, I forgot what it was. There is another movie people will say... Is awesome. I remember there's another movie. Oh, yeah. I definitely do not like Frozen. Those two movies I thought were the most awful movies I have seen. So yeah, I don't like those movies. But for some reason, I I do want to see that Lego Batman movie. It looks better, better than the Lego movie. So hopefully, it's not. Hopefully, it's not as bad as Batman vs Superman. God, that was a train wreck. Okay, um, so. What do you guys think about YouTube drama? Is it one of the dumbest things on YouTube to you guys? Or, or I don't even know. I, I really hope that there's some people with common sense that think that this is a bad thing. And hopefully it doesn't become a normal occurrence to YouTubers like, like, like I said. Normal occurrences to YouTubers is mostly like hate video or I mean not hate video. Well sometimes hate videos, but hate comments and those the trolls that are out there. Hopefully YouTube drama does not become a normal occurrence on YouTube. Alright, so please hit that like button and please subscribe and remember if you want something dark or terrifying or you just feel like having a good scare. You just come to Matt's House of Horrors. Goodbye.